Whoops. When I said 15 100. seconds, I meant five. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, no. No, <laughs> hilarious. Hold on one second. Okay. Brooke, we so, have to talk about Warren's professionalism or lack so, thereof. Ah, uh, man, you are yeah, the craziest. I Anyways, I got to go hang out with these ding dongs. You can only be, get away with so much right. for so long. Yeah, you too, man. Cool. Hey, what's going on? All this Leave game my mother alone. Made you entitled. <laughs> that's, uh, hey, that's just my bookie. So. I know. My mom's your bookie. I know. Okay. <laughs> Keep rubbing it in. Your bookie. You have a real dummy <laughs> relationship with your bookie. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Party Club. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We got Muppet Man 1230 in the house. We've got Scrum. What up, Muppet two. Man? Nice to see everyone. Yeah. Thanks. Kind of a, as our title says, a stream held together by hope and duct tape. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> Clara people can hear us, is, right? There are a few people who said, okay, yeah. All right. I think they oh, just yeah. had their screen muted. If you can't hear us, blink once. Yep. <laughs> Clara's out of town yeah. today. So um, you know what that means. It's a little bit shoddier than normal. <laughs> We're going to F this whole thing up. Yep. Hey, we have some watching from Stockholm. Welcome, Sebastian. Father. Oh, yeah. who's Sebastian from Stockholm? You know, the more time I spend with Sebastian, the more I like him. <laughs> That's because you have Copenhagen syndrome. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think it's called Capricorn One. <laughs> um, well, it's Alex Shore is flying an airplane. And... Oh, okay. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> that I mean, I know that. The airplanes mostly fly themselves these days, but please be careful. <laughs> is what that we say? the highest uh, altitude that someone has viewed one of our streams from before? Maybe. Except the Lord We're popular Jesus on Christ. the mirror, I think. So That's true. We are. <laughs> so I'm going to warn everybody at home. Today we have a oh. case of the everybody talks at the same time. I think we're all in the same brain uh -huh. phase. So uh -huh. we, our entire pre-show was everyone immediately filling the void of silence. So to the point where I'm like, am I on a slight delay that I'm not hearing people already talking? I don't know. But yeah, I'm kind of feeling like I'm on a slight delay and then uh, I don't know if okay. other people are all talking right. or not. So. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm kind of feeling like I'm on a slight delay and I just like can't keep up. I'm not sure. Ah. Okay. <laughs> well, what we're asking for today, dear viewers and friends, is your patience, your support, <laughs> your um, respect. and your good vibes. However, mm -hmm. good vibes are distributed um, across the universe. Please send them our way today. So Alex Shore is flying commercial on JetBlue, watching us over Wi-Fi, which I didn't even think would be possible. Are we like really laggy? If any, if the game looks laggy, it's JetBlue's fault today, everybody. Um, that's incredible. I'm excited to be a part of this journey. We have uh, Miguel from Ireland watching as well. So welcome. Well, welcome. We're very international know. today. We're, yeah, we're ooh, the traveling nice. bunch. So now, what time is it in Ireland? Is it like evening? Ten o'clock, like probably ahead. seven hours, yeah. six or seven hours ahead. Yeah, right in there. All right, well, we'll send you off to bed with a lovely stream. <laughs> with our dul the dulcet to tones of our voices talking over each other. It's all wind Miguel, down. Just tuck yourself in, get a nice snack, and watch this great stream. <laughs> uh, Shane Duffy, West Coast checking in. Nobody cares. Is it international? No. <laughs> Shane West Duffy, our marketing today. intern. <laughs> oh, hey, Shane. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we can't. Yeah, we must Shane. be becoming a big. We're a big soulless corporate company now because we didn't even recognize Shane right away. <laughs> you know, we got to come back to our roots, you guys. That's right. Let's all sing the Jackbox corporate uh, employee only theme song that only we know. <laughs> I'll start, and we, everybody will come in perfectly on time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it. Are you gonna count it down? 
Jackbox. Sorry, I'll count it down. Don't and stop two, and believing. Jackbox is Whoa. Jackbox. <laughs> Great. Just that was exactly how I thought it would go. <laughs> small town. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of amazed that we got uh, Journey to write our theme song for us. It was nice of them. Um, yeah. yeah. No legal action is about to happen whatsoever. No. No legal uh, action is going to Shall we get into action. a game? Sure. Let's go. I've got Pack A booted up. What do you think? Drawful Animate, The Wheel of Enormous Proportions, Job Job, The Pole Mine, or Weapons Drawn? What do you want, Ooh, chat? We could ask our dear friends. Which party okay. pack eight game would you like to play? Mm -hmm. While we're waiting for chat to come in, this is where I'll remind everyone, if you'd like to play along with us, please join our Discord community, discord.gg slash jackboxgames. The room code get, goes in our uh, fan club channel first for our VIP fans that help us spread the good word of Jackbox games. Then it'll go in the stream discussion channel. Absolutely. Got some wheels. Alex. Some uh, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, Alex Tool Studio asked, do you guys know The Flying Toaster? Perhaps a reference to the fact that the first You Don't Know Jack game was published by Berkeley Systems, who also made The Flying Toaster screensaver. Uh, but unfortunately, The Flying Toaster uh, was canceled, so we can't talk about him anymore. <laughs> uh, it looks like some wheel love in there. OK. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll give Ryan a minute to get the game booted up. Also, this is a big week for us. Lots of post-its. I was told that um, I was maybe I had abandoned my post-its. And, um, you know, they were kind of right. I've just been saying things without meaning. <laughs> and the post-its really give it meaning. So they're back, everyone. <laughs> they never left. They just, you know, had to take a little break for a while. Uh, Keith on YouTube, will the Jackbox Party Pack 9 be available for Xbox Game Pass Day 1? I don't know. I don't know I'm either. Sure. Uh, I but my honor places, and I bet we'll be able to find out pretty soon. Exactly. Probably, I'm going to say, I'm going to put on my marketing hat and say probably not. Um, but I would say never say never. Not day one. Yeah. But who knows day about eventually. Day one eventual. feels unlikely, but perhaps someday. Who knows? Who knows? All right. While we're getting into the game, I want everyone to think, and in the chat, I want you to put your top three things you're most excited about with Party Pack 9. Maybe that's something oh, yeah. you already know. Maybe it's something you want to know, but put your top three in the chat. That'll keep you busy. That'll keep the punters busy. <laughs> uh, from Irish Ian. Hey, just wanted to say thank you so much for making a collective of games. It allows me to host regular, fun, chaotic games for my buddies. Help us get through lockdown for sure. And love the work you all put into every part. part uh, every thank pack, you. Purple heart, so. oh, thank you very much. It's very nice of you to say. Yeah, we're glad we were able to you know be there for people during that awful, awful time. Mm -hmm. And after. Theoretically, yeah. there will be an after eventually. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Just we're going to get to a slow just mm -hmm. trickle out of this. Um, uh, can we get on, but let me know if the, if the volume's okay. Are, are the three of us in? Sorry, it's kind of covered yes. up for me. Sorry, the three of us are in. All right, room code incoming Discord. Uh, Scruntu, these are awful times. That's for you to call. <laughs> up to you, Scruntu. <laughs> Just like everything, it's up to you, Scruntu. <laughs> uh, I see people a, say that's a different that stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, people excited about um, game two, that frog game, the menu, uh, Fibbage mm -hmm. 4, non sensory, mm -hmm. maybe quick sort. Um, yeah, frogs, frogs, and more frogs. Jump total. Those frogs are cute. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we'll have, be having first looks on the way, too. So keep your eyes open for those. Kirby asks, 
where were you all in Ding Dong Host Gun? Now, I don't know if there was a canon answer provided, but uh, I'll say working really hard on Pac-9 is where we are <laughs> in some form or another. Unfortunately, sometimes we are just so swamped that we, uh, we can't make the time, especially around this time of year. Uh, I can always turn that volume up or down, Brooke. I wasn't sure what a good volume would be. Yeah, I have it set pretty low now. Chat, let us know how that's feeling. All right, shall we start her up? We've got uh, Dr. Beats, Marble, Becca DeGoo, Avalanche Lav, Avalanche Lav, and Nate Joe. Let's do it. Remember, you can still get in in the audience with EPWF as the room code. Uh, people are mentioned excited for the music. I can honestly say the music and nine is on the same trajectory as all our packs. Just keeps getting better and better. So it's really good. Now ask Wheel any one question that torments your very soul. Should you be chosen, your longing for truth will be satisfied, and your life forever changed. All right, got my question in. I'm ready to let the wheel decide my fate. Mm -hmm. Alex, if you'd gotten in on JetBlue, I would have been really impressed. <laughs> have a high flying player on. A, I'm not sure if we've done that before. Have we ever tested that? Who knows? I, I don't think our QA. I don't think QA's quite pushed that boundary yet. So they haven't. Okay. <laughs> We got a little bit of a hang if we take the 240 from Salt Lake City out to Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll fix it in a patch just for Fresno. We'll see you now. Hey, Sakura. You're not late to the party, Sakura. The party follows you, so. Could they have dreamed of something so big, shiny, and full of face? Never! You're going to take turns spinning me. And you get points if I land on uh, I'll say one thing I'm excited um, for on the Quicksort side of things. I'm excited for people to play both to modes of Quicksort. So the two but versions we have in the same game me. are different experiences completely. So very excited for people first. to see that when it comes out. So you have the chance to win I'm excited for people to play Fibbage 4's uh, movie questions, which is something we're very excited about. More. They're very fun. So we're going to earn yeah. some by doing totally. trivia. Starting right now. I'm in the mood How delicious the are the slices, S. Lucas? They're kind of chalky, I think. So. <laughs> They're made <laughs> from the bones of the loser, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but slightly tart like a and smarty. You in the audience? Yeah. Vote for the player you think will do the best. If the majority of you guess right, you'll learn a special slice of your own. All right now. Uh, maybe. I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. Debone Capone asks, I was playing with a streamer last night and I asked the wheel, will Quicksort be streamable? And the wheel said, yes, but not in the way you think. What does that mean? Curious. It what means that Chase McClure is a genius, and there's a very <laughs> fun thing that has happened <laughs> that choose better next time, it can be you. streamed. Wow, Everyone... so the wheel was correct, as Impossible. always. Those scores are I don't want to spoil it. I want everyone to see it this and go, whoa, this is slice. great. So, And Chase is a powerhouse. Mm. Question two, anyone? Mm. No matter when you play this, tis the season to stuck up on deviled egg ornaments. As of 2021, which of the following are real Christmas tree ornaments that could be purchased from oldworldchristmas.com? Oh, you guys, <laughs> I know I'm about to draw a lot of hate here, but I'm excited for Christmas. Oh, I love Christmas. Oh, totally. I'm, I'm, it's, you know, I know it's still August, but I, it's going to be a good time, Christmas is. Yeah. Looking forward to it. The last couple Christmases, I've convinced uh, my family to come to me. And so I don't have to do anything 
they get to stay here and it's a lot even though hosting is a certain amount of work it feels a lot less work than like traveling to me totally yeah and so mm-hmm. we'll see i'm not sure if i'm gonna so convince them this year we'll see but i'm excited to try a pear tree and calling it a day. fingers crossed yeah i went with a with a theme i don't believe it the top scores have me feeling nice. all warm and fuzzy I wanted the band Chumbawamba to be right, but I mean, yeah, me too. And then there's you with the top score. You take another. <laughs> yeah, I I get what you're saying, Eric. But sometimes this with those weird questions like question that, you can just kind of like suss it out. Like, would they make that? I don't know. It's, it's not much like Fibbage. It's it's about intuiting, not Type knowing the answer. Mm-hmm. Say, ah, that's a good tree. <laughs> like this one. Guess on your device. This common type of tree encompasses hundreds of different species. Ooh. Lucky guess for me. This type of tree produces acorns. What a treat from such a tree. Uh, I, <laughs> I am deciduously an evergreen fan of this tree, and if you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> I crack myself up. Uh, who voices the wheel? One second. Um, tree and calling up my favorite David. Joe, like, Joe Blanco, is it? Yeah, I think. The fastest meeples win the He's most. great. I know that. Yeah, Joe Bianco. Bianco. Right. Thank the you. Uh, he's on Twitter. You should follow him. Joe Bianco VO. Yes. I choose he's funny on Twitter. You. It was always you. The time has come. Hooray. <laughs> Also, as I go on Twitter, I noticed that Jackbox retweeted my stupid thing about Trivia Murder Party of Six. Like, no, suddenly my notifications are huge. Ah, uh, yeah. I check Twitter like once a day. <laughs> and the time for spinning, it's now. You have been chosen. I did something stupid recently, and uh, Bill Corbett retweeted it. And it was like, I came back like eight hours later. It's like, what happened? Like, what? oh no, what did I do wrong? The Corbett retweet? Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you get it, it was, Warren. Your Twitter yeah, yeah. famous. <laughs> But it was just something where the second I saw notifications, I was like, I did something wrong or, or something bad is about to happen. I don't like. I usually don't get any like notification or uh, notoriety on Twitter. So, because you posted like, I don't particularly like sliced ham, and everyone's like, it's allowed. <laughs> yeah. I have like zero hot takes on my Twitter. She's just something. I was like, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, millennials love ham. <laughs> You're gonna take turns spinning me. No consolidation. The spinning process begins with you. Swipe the wheel on your device to spin. You can also tap Nate real fast Joe. if that's more your thing. All right, Nate Joe. <laughs> Hello. Doctor Beats, get some points. The power slice. It grows in number until you land on one. You ready, new spinner? Let's go, marble. Marble. Oh, uh, a lot of people. Ooh. Uh, anybody in the chat going to Pax West? It's your turn. Yeah. Ooh. Ryan, you're going, right? Yeah, I'm going. I'll be there. All week, nice. DJ and Lev and Belia, and Mike Builder for a while. Oh, that'd be fun. And Clara, well, Clara, is Michelle going? That's someone else is going for marketing. You're gonna pick a slice Clara. as will the uh, others. Belia and Lev and Clara. Ooh, choose a slice. Okay. Oh no. See those Come on, Brooke. <laughs> you got caught? I think they should split oh. up instead. I've never Yay. seen this before. Oh. Yeah, neither have I. <clears throat> cool. I don't like it. There was a movie in 2000 <laughs> called Skulls <laughs> that had nuts. nothing to do with the skulls on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Sidor, son must be bug. Warren isn't winning. I don't know so that I've ever done that well at this game. So it's got just enough spin. goofiness and randomness in it that it's hard mm-hmm. to like. 
the last spin duties fall on your oh so small All shoulders. Right. The anticipation of where I land is killing me. Doctor B, Doctor B, clean it up. I have the uncontrollable urge to flip over. Do, 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 do. Okay, fine. <laughs> Last place. So let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's get you some more points, okay? Hi, Tessa. Good to see you. Before hey, the trivia, I distribute slices. I'm having miss a you hard too. time because, uh, hi, hi. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having a hard time because the air show is happening, like, right oh, outside geez. my window. <laughs> so they were like, like, like yeah. Time quintet. <laughs> Yeah, it was. I was trying to have a meeting with CJ, and it was like. Sometimes so anyway, I think we should. <laughs> so I can tap the correct answers just like you. Uh, for those of you not in Chicago, they do an air and water show every year at this time, and they practice over the city. So there's just jets that are. Buzz in the deck all day as they practice. It's it's very disturbing at times. So yeah, it's fun though if you uh, have a chance to go on the roof of work building or something and see mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I'll enjoy it tomorrow. It's a little bit harder, like when you're trying to work, and I'm like, what all is? Right, why is there a you know giant sized bird just suddenly in my peripheral exactly vision? Wow. <laughs> like I keep forgetting what's happening. Wait a minute. A wind in the door yeah, and an acceptable yeah, time crazy. aren't joke answers. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is intergalactic PS3. Yeah. Another slice. That makes it a good question. I love that the person who wrote a wrinkle in time also wrote acceptable time. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Time for some wall -wall <laughs> Not a lot happens. Wrinkle in time. But... <laughs> How tall is the Great Wall of China in Berlin Walls? Ooh. Um... In Ooh. other words, how many Berlin walls would it take to equal the length of the Great Wall of China? Oh, the length. Oh, the length. Okay, yeah. That's not tall. Yeah. Oh, long. It's the closest. will win this one. Berlin Wall wasn't actually that long, right? Right. No. Wait, I shouldn't be telling you these things. It was just some guy's I'm apartment. I'm fooling so. you. That's right. I mean, David Hasselhoff uh, knocked it down himself, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. And then Ronald Reagan ate it piece by piece. So yeah, broke a tooth. There are almost two <laughs> seconds left. Vinny says, "I wonder how the writers of this question came up with that answer." I would say, basic math. Just divide it up. You end up with? Mm -hmm. But the correct answer is. Oh boy! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, you were still the closest, bro. Doctor Beats guessed ten thousand. Is that right? No, okay, that was his point. Never mind. One just isn't enough. Let's get so you we are letting just viewers play, question. but in order okay. to get their room code, you need to How join us on our Discord server. Discord.gg slash Jackbox Games. Is Ooh. Have as many oh. correct answers as you can before time runs out. No. Dang it. Javier Bardem! I <laughs> 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 Oh, nice job, Warren. That's nice. Nice. Hey, we found us a winner. Woo, that's a spicy power slice. Power slice. Oh. Step power slice, slice, slice. Uh, I, Luke was asking how do I know that. I feel like my matchups were pretty straightforward because it was like with Denzel and there was like he's quite a bit older, so. The slot mm. with arrows gives points to you if you're next to it. I don't know if we get the same matchups or not, but you will cozy up to it. 
I had Denzel, but not only like twice. I don't know if you had him a bunch. I feel like I had him like four times or something. So, yeah. and it would be like um, Will Smith and then someone pretty young. So, mm -hmm. the first spin of the round then DiCaprio right. comes up and you're like, he's ageless. <laughs> now you're just thinking of his partners. So, there's... oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 It's your time to shine. I'm so pleased. Ooh. Good spin for marble. Power slice. Next spinner. It's a spin we'll never forget. That's fun for everyone. Hey, how about a spin from a new spinner? Slowing down. Kaido Vinny, thank you for pre ordering Party Pack 9, which you can do now in the Steam store or at shop.jackboxgames.com, and you'll get 10% off. Oh. And you won't have to wait. The second the game's ready to go, it'll be in your library. You can just download it and get to partying. Okay, listen. Oh. Warren's going to win the pot unless we all agree. So I say we all agree on Dr. Beats. No, he's already winning. We all no, agree he's already winning. Nate Joe. Let's all agree on Nate Joe. Yeah. Okay. And that way, Warren won't get it. Okay. I will split the prize money from this with whoever it goes against. Don't this. listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> he, oh, he can't do that. He can't it's a lie. You don't know. You don't know. Did you direct this game? That means you get the good stuff. <laughs> Whatever, guys. Now look at Warren no. winning. The last spin Traitors. Really I followed directions, Ryan. <laughs> Thank you. This time. Why'd you land on a skull slice? They're bad. What a surprise. <laughs> Everyone else gets to share some of your hard earned points. Ah, uh, sorry, okay. they do. Oof, rough. How about a score update? Yes, let's. Everyone's doing just fine, and so am I. Thank you for asking. Mm, another pair of savory slices. The good guys are running away with it. <laughs> The good guy. Everything can change in the <laughs> wheel. A strong desire to Very give much. you question one. Which social media site was launched first? Alexander the Great once played this question and only got four. True story. Your score. No, <laughs> I'm having the worst uh. luck. Uh, I need to read up on Live Journal, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I've heard a lot about that. It's, it's like pretty much the oldest one on there. Slice, yes. I yeah. think it was the oldest one. Question one is nothing compared to question two. I never had a live journal. Appeared in the 2001 Ocean's Eleven remake. All right. Okay. Also, where where was Zanga at? Some answers are more that list. than others. Am I right? Uh, I think that I get the joke of this question. I'm hoping. Because there are 12 answers, right? <laughs> are they all right except one? I had to oh, take a guess no. On two of them.
That's all. I hope that's yes, not the case. Was no. But is yep. That what... <laughs> oh, Stanley Tucci was okay. Stanley Tucci was not. I knew he wasn't, but I wasn't sure about Kin Shabo or um, Eddie Jemison. I was like, I know there was the contortionist who I his name I don't know. Maybe that was him. Two slices is better than one. Yeah. I'll take it. Question three comes with the prize of a power slice. You're gonna pair things off based on this prompt. Match the I gone currency. Uh, currency. Ooh, okay. fun. Okay. You'll see two columns that you can slide up and down. Tap an item in column A, then tap its match in column B. Uh, I can't really slide very well. Can you guys? Uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm okay. If you think this is hard, you should have played a hundred years ago. I used to oh, spit large fruit at you while you sing. Ha! Yeah, oh wait, there it goes. Fan favorite. No. Time to match column A, ah. column B is ending. Oh man. Finito. Now let's really see what screwed next. that one up. Uh, Warren's got you points. The next Woo. speed that gives you points can win you the game. I there wish our no currency was called shillings. You. <laughs> Power slice incoming. Three shillings. Doctor Beat. Power slice. Now climb the mountain and let's spin. So glad you can join me up here with all those slices you have. Here's a tip from wheel to meeple. You can tap a slot more than once to add a multiplier. Isn't that a pleasant surprise? If you want to join the next round, join our Discord, discord.gg slash jackboxgames. We share the room code there first in the fan club channel and then the stream discussion channel. With great consideration, I've selected you to spin first. Star Nova 15. Uh, the next episode of Inside the Box is September 8th. You split the pot with anyone on a slice next to this one. With that point total, you can finally spin the winner wheel. Oh, Marble. Oh, All right, good luck, Marble. Be Warren. <laughs> because of course. <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, Warren to spin? Oh. Yay. Put your back into it. I think I feel the like first I'm one never is. Day. I'm the speed. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's tough. Okay, okay. You can still okay, this time. Spinner, so make this a good one. Come on, I... big money. Am I not spinning the wheel right? Oh, there it, there's always like a delay on it, I feel like, at least uh, for me. So, all right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Every time. Oh. Here we are again. This is going to be the spin to tell your grandkids about. No. Oh, this great. feels good. This just feels so good. And right? Like the world is back to being normal again? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, what happened? I mean, I'm genuinely curious. Yeah. It's like, it was like an under-known or less-known Franz Kafka novel, so. Crushing <laughs> Shibuya goes with that. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Very fun. The wheel of enormous proportions. Good game, now, Warren. Later, game. you can go back to this Twitch stream and just kind of watch this with the rest of your family. You know, if you really want to just yes. gather around and relive this memory. So. Yes. Yeah, it'll be there. It'll be there. <laughs> oh, a lot of Warren-centric questions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll ask to answer this one. Do the employees in Job Job work for Binge Pipe? Unlikely. It's way less efficient than Binge Pipe is. 
mm. at their evil. It's just uh, it's poorly run, so it can't be. I'm amazed at how triggering Binge Pipe is for our fans. Like, yeah. we just put it as a throwaway line in the quick sort video. <laughs> yeah. It's like most of the comments, like, oh no, it's quick, <laughs> uh, it's binge bike stuff. And it's like, it's just, it's just a line. <laughs> well, Fibbage is, Fibbage 4 is our first game with Cookie since Jack. Oh, so, true. you know, I'm sure that you'll learn anything you need to learn about binge pipe in that game or not. We maybe didn't put anything about it. Is this like a multiverse of cookies, though? Like maybe is Fibbage in a different setting than. It's possible. It's possible. You might have to play and uh, unearth some secrets to find out. Okay, there you Interesting. go. Interesting. Yeah. Um, well, Brooke, All right. I wish you had some post-it notes. Me too. I wish I had a, a vehicle through which I can share the great news of Jackbox Games headquarters. Oh, wait. Guess who found her post-it notes? Friends. <laughs> hey. In the office. So I can shake things around while I share news. <laughs> Listen to me. Okay. Uh, okay. Anywho. All right. Here's the news. This is a big one. The biggest one, perhaps. And it's already on the screen. Friends, I think this might be the earliest ever we have launched pre-orders for a party pack. But pre-orders for Party Pack 9 are available now for Steam. You can get 10% wow. off if you go to shop.jackboxgames.com or the Steam store directly. That's great. That's a big deal. How many you'll have you ordered already, Ryan? <clears throat> I pre-ordered three or four, um, which is difficult because they tell you what you do is you pre-order it and then it goes, great, you have it. And then I was like, great, let me get my next copy. And then Steam goes, you've already pre-ordered this. You can't pre-order it again, <laughs> Ryan. And I'm like, well, all right. So then I made a separate Steam account so I could pre-order it on that one because I use a separate Steam account for anonymity purposes. And uh, there's a lot of stuff you don't need to know about. And then I made a third <laughs> Steam account. And that one I forgot to order it on. So I need to do that after this. You know what you could do with those extra pre-orders? Use them as giveaways during your mystery game stream. There you go. Oh, I have not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> What's the <laughs> URL? I... Twitch.tv slash. Uh, well, my my stream is Twitch.tv slash mm -hmm. R D Georgie R D I G I O R G I, where I play mystery games with my sister. Thank you for for the the plug, Cute. Brooke. <laughs> but also if you order if you pre-order steam codes from our shop they just come in a nice little pdf that you can easily gift to others or yes. you know give to a stranger that's right yeah so if you want to give your cousin who's in college the game but you don't know what his steam address is and you don't want to be friends with him on steam because that opens a whole door <laughs> you can just give him the code beautiful all right Next order of business, gavel, gavel, gavel. Plush pre-orders are live. If you haven't seen it yet, we have pre-orders for beautiful plush created by our very own House of Darkly. Uh, it's the yeti.com slash jackbox. That's where you can go to pre-order a drawful owl or an mbubs plush. And they're super cute. They're so huggable. They're so cuddleable. They're so good. I'm trying to find, I was trying to find a good picture, but anyway, if you go to Jackbox's social media or Yeti social media, you'll see the Drawful Owl and Mbubs, and you just gotta have them. And also, it's like Mbubs is like 14 inches tall, like it's a big huggable boy. Mbubs is sizable. It's, it's it, yeah. It dispenses liquid too, right? So if you put liquid in it, yeah. Yeah, it come, the thing you coming out, it's not enough. quite water, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Don't, we've been advised legally to tell you not to drink whatever comes out of M-Bubs. <laughs> it tastes like medicine, but brother, it ain't medicine. But brother. <laughs> it's a night on the toilet. That's what that is. <laughs> well, if that's your thing, then yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, two more items of business. Mm -hmm. If you haven't taken it already, our customer feedback survey is out. There's a giveaway associated with that. If you complete our customer feedback survey, you'll be entered for a chance to win a $500 Visa gift card. 
and wow. a suite of Jackbox enamel pins. So please, 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 we do really take it seriously. We look at all of the comments. We share them with the studio. It's a whole thing. But we want to hear yes. from you because that's that's how we know if we're, you know, making games in the direction that you want us to. That's how we know if what we're doing is working. We've made decisions, pretty big decisions recently based largely on that survey data. And we really appreciate you guys providing it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And then last but not least, uh, in case you missed it, the first looks for rumoring and non-sensory came out this Whoa. week. Whoa. Whoa. Um, you can find those YouTube. Uh, Rob has a podcast. That's where the rumoring stream lives. You can also find it on our social media channels at Jackbox Games on Facebook and Twitter and at Play Jackbox Games on Instagram and TikTok. Um, and then Nonsensory was with Smosh Games. Uh, very funny. Check it out on their YouTube channel. And it's also linked and accessible on our social channels too. Yeah. They, uh, both videos are hilarious and great. And uh, you really should check them out. They show off the games very well, and they're very funny. That leaves just two games. Two games to do first looks for. And I think all of them will be out before PAX West. So coming nice. very soon. We don't have official dates yet. Indeed, indeed. And if you do attend PAX West in Seattle, or if you watch any of the live streams, you'll see even more of these games played by some very funny people on stage. That's right. It's always a good time to check out our stuff. Like, mm -hmm. We're getting into that fun time of year, too, where in September, we're probably going to be mostly playing Party Pack 9 games here on this stream. So right. if you want to be able to join as an audience member or just see more rounds of the games being played firsthand, come on back Thursdays at 3.30 Central here at your friendly neighborhood Jackbox Party Club. Mm -hmm. That's right, where we sit on a little stool by the old water and hole and just tell it like it is. And eat you know, stew. <laughs> eat a, over the fire and cook a pot of beans. <clears throat> well, what should we play next? Yeah, chat, what do you feel like? Someone asked earlier what we think of Zeeple Dome, and I will say I've always liked Zeeple Dome. I worked kind of on that game. I was designed for a bit until I switched over to Patently Stupid to direct. And I don't know, I think Zeeple Dome is a lot of fun. So oh, yeah. I understand people's view on it, but especially if you play locally, I think it's a lot of fun. So totally. I think the thing with Zeeple Dome is some people are like, I'd rather play a game like this on a controller, but I don't think it's necessarily I think that those people will play games like that in control it. We were like, can we get people who don't play these games at all to be interested yeah. in these kinds of games? Exactly. So it's a bit of a different, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's not, you know, 100% a perfect game, but uh, but I love it. I play it yeah. whenever we have a, have a chance to do Probably at PAX, we'll almost certainly play it on the uh, on the Jackbox stage uh, every once in a while, the Jackbox, you know, mini stage. Yep. I wish I uh, had kept the notes. We did some just crazy design meetings in the early days of that, like stuff we could add and just like some of the things we wanted to like attempt, but just obviously couldn't get to back in those days. And one was if you, there were going to be different pipes and stuff like that. And if you accidentally hit one, you would go in one side and you'd come out old on the other side. Yeah. So if you're old that you had to like try to get yourself flung back through to become young again on the other way. But if you went the other way, you'd come out as a baby and stuff like that. So <laughs> can you, know, you uh, powers and stuff? Yeah. Can you get to zygote? <laughs> I think we capped it at baby, but yeah, I think we okay. also thought about like blinking you out of existence, but we couldn't figure out like, well, then your yeah. game would be over. Okay, and now, there's another you way. Turn off could you turn off the Benjamin bud button setting in the <laughs> settings menu before you start a round? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think another one we had was we were going to add an ice monster in. And the only way, like if you got froze, you had to fling your frozen self into like a little hot tub and <laughs> thaw <laughs> yourself. Like, yeah. So we had some really fun too. ideas. But yeah, maybe. Like there's plenty of ideas. <laughs> Um, I've seen a lot of that we never got. For... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ryan. No, oh, I was just saying, Nate Joe is so upset we never got everybody help grandma 
Devils in the Details is the closest thing, probably. You can, in fact, help Grandma in that game. So oh, yeah. I recommend you play it. Sorry, Brooke, what were you saying? Uh, I'm seeing some requests for Job Job, which might be fun to play since we've got the plush out. For oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I opened the soundtrack to Job Job somehow. Good soundtrack. It is. I love Job Job. Great game. Pitched and directed by Brooke Bright, who I love working with. Uh, and I demand that she gets the credit she deserves. Uh, are you both getting in the game? Yeah, I think I will. I, I like playing this game. I'm just I'm I'm gonna be selfish and take a slot. Okay. Warren? Yeah, I can jump in. I will as well. Okay. We got ten players, so plenty of room. I'll throw up that Discord link too as a reminder. That is where we post these room codes. Uh, and since we're talking about Zeeple Dome, here's another challenge for the chat. Um, put your most controversial yet positive comments in the chat. So something like, if you do really yeah. love Zeeple Dome, I feel like that kind of goes against the grain in some ways. If you have something like that, throw it in. Don't be afraid. This is a safe space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the three of us are in. You're okay, safe to open we'll it up. up. One second, I need to. Oh, Warren's got to do something. Alex says, I really like earwax. I like it too. Where are the codes posted in the server? So, first, they go to our fan club folks, the uh, Jackbox. Uh, uh, cool guys club, whatever we call that. And then after that, ambassador program. there it is. Uh, and if there are slots left after the ambassador program, they go to the stream discussion chat. And it looks like we have, slots um, left. I have to apologize. I have to go. We've had a, okay. a, a slight mix up. It's nothing serious. It's just a, it's a funny thing, which basically my wife uh, is going to pick up my child and realize she doesn't have a car seat in her car. So, and she has to get to a doctor's appointment with them. So, uh, okay. So I need to bounce. I hope that doesn't mess things up. So uh, we'll figure it out. Go. All no right. Well, thanks, Everyone in the chat, say bye, Warren. Bye, Warren. Bye. Okay. Well, then don't post that code wide yet. I'll start one without Warren. Okay. Never fear, fan club. We'll be back. Well, now that Warren's away, we have a fighting chance. I know. Seriously. Okay, new code incoming. All right. Room code coming to the fan club. Okay, biggest last with earwax. Yes, indeed, I agree. Earwax is pretty great. We've been talking about doing more with that game. We'd love to go back to it. Um, yeah, beguine nine, you could have just not said anything. That would have helped for the future. Role models underrated. That's nice to hear. I worked on role models. I like role models. The narrators. I thank you. Thank you. The narrator from Weapons Drawn is more powerful than Benchmark. The narrators, um, the narrator and, and, and Lord Tippett and Weapons Drawn are so great. Uh, some of my favorite folks to work with. Uh, it was so fun. Okay. We got Fido Vinny. That's, that is Thomas. We got Nine Sock Drawer Lemon. Real Joe Biden. Nice to see you, Mr. President. Wow. Uh, thank Arnold. you. And happy 3W9. Let's start her up. All right. Potential hires, we're thrilled you lied for this exciting employment opportunity. If you haven't guessed, I'm the boss around here, but I like to think of myself more as a buddy. A boss buddy. Water? 
Someone will get that. I can tell you're all great candidates. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of you and only one job. It's incredibly stressful for me. That's why I developed a revolution. I love that little 3D move Owen put in there when Bob shakes their head and it's the glasses yeah. you can actually see it's 3D. Clear my calendar. It's time to get to know our candidates. My first rule of management? I only hire my dearest, closest friends. Now, wouldn't that water cooler make an adorable, squishy friend? Yeah. Yeti.com slash Jackbox. You could bring it home. That's my first rule of management. All right, here we go. Hmm. I think the Jolly Up end credits song has the highest note of all of other Jackbox time. A G5 by Elise Wattman. I, you might be right, uh, Lovely Sugar Skulls. It does go high. Uh, you should have heard my demo of the lyrics when I sang it. I did not hit the note like Elise did. I'll tell you that. And I should have. I mean, you cannot hear it. Positivity, just void it. Think Humpty? Yes, Vivage 4 has a new Enough About You with all new questions, uh, and it's quite good. You were just playing yesterday. What are your thoughts on cubicles, Ryan? Have you ever worked in one? I've never had to work in a cubicle. Mm, both of my parents have, and I've been to their jobs when they have had cubicles. Um, it, I don't like cubicles, but also they're not that different from an open office. And at least with a cubicle, you get a little, a little more privacy and a little space to hang up, you know, fun things in the wall. Mm -hmm. And I've always, my entire career, I've worked in an open office, so I've never had an office. So I guess a cubicle is actually sort of a step up from an office, unless you really want to talk to the people across from you, which I usually have wanted to. So that way it's not as good. But I don't think it's as dehumanizing as people pretend it is. What do you think? I, I think they look a little cozy. And I like the idea of, you know, back. I'm, I'm big on Christmas brain today, I guess. But think of all the decorating you could do around the holiday season. Exactly. I like that aspect Whole of it. competitions, there's world building you could do within a cubicle. I'm cubicle curious. Oh, I forgot there were three. Oh. I was like, wow, you finished fast. Yeah. Ryan's a pro, friends. I'll just file these. Sorry, I, I was not going to jump in. Yeah, maybe. Well, the cubicles in Severance, of course, are very specifically no, 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 no. emphasizing the dehumanizing qualities. Boy, that's a great show. Such a good show. Your responses, you'll be using I watched it all in one weekend. Yeah, basically did too. call that the old switcheroo. Tap any word you see to add it to your response. If you make a mistake... Do you feel like you have a number book of times you have to hear about a show before you will finally actually try it? Like, people are like, you should watch Severance. And the, I go, okay. The first time I hear about it, I pretty much won't do it. But, like, after the fifth time somebody said it, I was like, I guess I have to watch Severance. Yeah, I think I'm usually, like, at three times... Mm -hmm. But it, there are some people that if they tell me, you know, you need to watch this, I know they know, you know, what I go for, and I'll trust them yeah, sometimes you... on the first try. That's true. I definitely have that, too, where people are like, 
people I trust. Ooh, Pan Kegel says, what if one of you guys dresses up like Santa for Halloween? We'll take that into What if one of us did that? I've seen that. I've yeah, seen that look you pulled off. Holiday friends. Yeah. We did dress up for Halloween one year. I was the binge pipe lady. Oh yeah, that's right. I was Tony Stark. There is not an actual canon interpretation of the binge pipe lady. It's all no. up for interpretation. Time's almost up. I'm looking for like, oh well. Okay, I'm going with it. Don't let me down. What would you consider the rock bottom of your career? I know one of these is better. Jar Jar Bonks. Jar Jar Bonks. Go ahead and vote already. Or a lovey dovey relationship with my important food combination. That seems like the highlight of your career. How many Jar Jar Binks do you think are currently in my line of vision right now? <laughs> Between you, a known Star Wars fan, and Owen, a known, like, pitch fan. At least three. And did I mention our board of directors? Exactly three. <laughs> yes! <laughs> well done. Bonus points for Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I am a rat. My personality, <laughs> a drag. <laughs> Very good. Oh, well good done. Good job, Joe Biden. Biden. Yeah. Nice trick stealing words from the question. Good Just job, some words. You see on your device is fair game. What usually kills small businesses in their first year? <laughs> Every apple juice ever made and two beautiful oceans. Wow. A lot of liquid. Yeah. Uh, Caddy Gaming One, we are people from the Jackbox Company. We are devs. We are. We, in fact. Uh, what does family? I'm a game director and Brooks VP of marketing. Family, my staff. <laughs> <laughs> I want like a personal life staff. Ryan and I have had this conversation maybe 25 times that we um, just desperately want an assistant for our personal lives. I would, I mean, I was about to say I would pay anything, but if you could pay anything, you could get one. But right. I don't think it would be cost uh, efficient. But uh, boy, that would be worth it for me. Someday. You know who has a personal assistant? 
the, the real Joe Biden. You've had to make. Sure does. <laughs> Not just a big teddy bear, a huge big teddy bear. That is a huge, and if you had to kill it, that's a tough decision. Whoa! I got completely trashed on that one. Synergy. How did things go with the last project you led? <laughs> All the bacon meat got stuck in my nose. <laughs> it wasn't great, if I'm honest. It's a very meat centric round of answers <laughs> sausage, bacon meat. Synergy. Nice. Using words from three separate people earns you an extra bonus. Energy and the rainbow bonus socks are clean up. To making new friends at work. You tickle stuff. I saw. Did you ever watch that? Tickling documentary. <laughs> no, I heard I should, but not five people so haven't told me to watch it yet. It's it's well, I'll add to the count. Okay. I would say watch it, but also it just kind of ruins tickling. <laughs> for okay. I guess I wasn't. I don't know that I need tickling, so I think I can let it be ruined. Yeah. Exhibited leadership. It's a personal choice, you know. Yeah. There's a fork in the road. I won the race. I run. Saving City Gumball Machine. Yeah, Skylar Ringtail. I think that's all I'm going to say about the tickling documentary. What are you most passionate about? <laughs> Every Hallmark movie ever made and my credit card. <laughs> that resonates. It does. I believe it. I fall asleep to Hallmark movies often. Yeah, that makes sense. Puts me right to sleep. So You're good for that. Do you often watch a t TV or movie or something while you're going to bed? Or do you just yeah, fall asleep like, not intentionally? No, I think um, <laughs> usually I'm watching something in bed for a little bit. And then sure. um, and then there comes a point where I'm like, oh, things are going south. And I put on something a bit more mindless and like yeah. chill. And then I fall asleep. OK. Do you have like a? A routine of like a TV with like a sleep timer on it, or you just don't mind that it keeps going. That's what I'll be saying. I just let it let it run, but I probably should put a timer on it. Nice. I have one movie that I um, put on uh, on a regular basis to fall asleep. I may have discussed this on the stream before, but um, have you heard of a little film called Leap Year with Amy Adams? <laughs> yes, I've heard of it from you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's right. the perfect it's falling asleep movie. I will shout it from every rooftop. Amazing. How about you? Well, okay, I'll let you answer, and then I want to hear about how you handle bedtime Stevens, visual content. I haven't done it in a while, but I fall asleep to riff tracks a lot. And mm. I will set a timer of like 30 minutes, but then sometimes I'll still be watching it in 30 minutes. I'm like, 30 more minutes, please. Good choice.
Zach asks, what movie regarded as a classic do you actually not like? Ooh. I, Chinatown is a movie that seems built for me, but I've never liked it. But I want to watch it again. It, I have, there's maybe two or three movies in my life, most of it, they're supposed to be classics like that, that I watched, usually I think around college, and after I watched it, I stopped it and watched it again. Because I was like, I don't get it. I don't get why people like this. I want to see if I'm missing anything. I did that with Chinatown and Raging Bull, both of which are just not, the narr- they're not narrative heavy movies and they kind of, mm-hmm. they fall apart a little bit. But. Um, what about you? I think for me, it's Gone with the Wind. There's some like mm. epic one-liners in that film, but doesn't age super well really long haven't revisited it yeah that, especially how long it is and yeah it definitely does not as well Round two. yeah Questioning. this time i want to know how you would handle some tough workplace scenarios remember you can use any word you see on your device in your answer try grabbing uh, yes if you like this itself. dress if you really fall in love with a word tap it a whole bunch and use it again and again one egg at a time. Oh, this game is silly. Oh, Sound of Music. Yeah. I love some of the music in Sound of Music, but I realized that I saw it once and then I only ever go back to listen to the music. I don't actually watch the movie. So I would agree with that, Zach. Yeah, I get that. Here we go. You arrive at the office and there's a bird sitting at your desk, calmly doing your work. How do you respond? Vote on your device now. <laughs> so, bird, do you beer? Do you beer? Oh, crap, this bird is dead! Both good. I'd be like, thank you, dear bird friend. I know. Here's my Jira task list. (laughs) I'll be in the corner watching Netflix. (laughs) You referred someone to the company, and it turns out they're Bird Brook is now in charge. What do you do? (laughs) Oh. 
Jazzy Jazz. Yummy gut opportunity. <laughs> That's the name of Mountain Dew in Japan. Goodbye, Caddy Gaming One. Thanks for watching. Bye. The boss is bored. What's Ooh, Mr. Caboodle. I would say. Um, I would try Fibbage 3 with Family and Party Pack 4, and then maybe move on over to, like, once everyone's warmed up, then maybe move on over to Mad vs. City in Party Pack 5. Yeah. Job Job's also a good one, or uh, if your family likes drawing, any of the drawfuls. Which is, um, there's one in Pack 2, and then there's Drawful Anime, uh, which is in Pack 8. Pack Man, two or pack one? Joe Biden kills at job job. Ted's birthday card just also got been pack one. What message do you yeah, Joe Biden's good at this. <laughs> Ted's a spy. I love you. <laughs> Bone, they will be randomly triggered. You'll just have to play to find them. Nice lemon. The new intern is much, much smarter than you. How do you assert yourself? Nice caboodle. I think I'm scared of this new intern. <laughs> oh, got me, Sakura. Well, I voted for intern, God. Thank you. Does this mean something? How do you react? <laughs> Keep hating like a friend's on an apple juice barbecue. <laughs> Honestly, uh, from what I hear lately, not being invited to a wedding is a good thing. Mm -hmm. A wedding heyday. I gotta stay home and watch my Formula One races. I know. How's that going? Are they still? It's going in the summer the break. Summer break. I'm really missing it. But next week, I, I think next week we're back. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Good, I was. Um. Caboodle, uh, glad to hear that you won with negative points. There is unique audio for that. I assume Cookie made fun of you. Doing terrible, but slightly better than everyone else. That is Thomas. Rainbow bonus. That is Thomas. If your clone tried to take your job, how can we tell the difference between you and evil you? I like this prompt. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about Baconator <laughs> and all that good stuff. <laughs> That's me. Have you had a Baconator? Oh yeah. Good. It's a good me one. Me too. <laughs> yeah. It is quite good. Right? I'll put you out for the count, but it's quite good. Oh, yeah. A Baconator and a Frosty, and you need, like, to be in a hospital bed for a couple hours. If you want your coworkers to know it's your Worth birthday, it. but live in a chill, yeah. subtle way, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> 
throw myself a disgusting birthday bacon float. And everyone shall come. Quite right. Washer outside your office window right now. What do you do? <laughs> scream, 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 screams. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden again. Joe. It hits every time. Now I see. You weren't my first choice for winning this game, but I'm gonna stand behind you. People are more than just numbers. You're the choice. The so choice we must live with. Let's see. The choice we have to live with. Math, am I right? Let's do one more icebreaker. Don't I love the last round of this game. Whatever enters your mind. Yeah, me too. Unless you're thinking about a nap in a comfy hammock. I gotta stay sharp for this interview. Life is more than arson. Hmm? Hmm. Life is more than arson. Hmm. What's your favorite old YDKJ game? Well, it's um, somewhat of a simple answer, and you said the same thing, but it's the ride. And that was the best one. Is Jumptopia Diddyth 2? No. Their gameplay is very different. There's maybe some shared DNA deep in the core, but very different games. Looks like words to me. Okay, it's the final round and it appears we're missing something. Your resume is probably my fault. My computer only opens MIDI files. But you know what? I don't need resumes. Just finish the personal statement that's already started on your device. No pressure, but this is your last chance and there's a lot riding on it. I want to dress this JK. Okay. Is the yellow C-shaped fella a banana or a moon? I think that's open to interpretation, but I believe 
artist in it, Dave Ennis, would tell you it was a moon when originally designed. Okay, let's see him. I think Dave did that one. Well, one's not gonna help the other. Oh. <laughs> Joe Biden strikes again. <laughs> do 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 do. Done, Thomas. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, a Sammy rat. Oh. <laughs> do do wadi body boo. Really eat every crest. I technically was born in New York. I eat most crusts. I eat all the crusts, but I am no New Yorker. I mean, the thing about crust is you have a little dipping sauce. Yeah, you're corn. Right. You are used to eating the crust off a, a corn cob, which is even harder. <laughs> okay, it's <laughs> <a> pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Mickey, you can't do that. No, Mickey. Maybe he just got nervous. <laughs> I, there's something about a lewd Mickey Mouse that just makes me chuckle. Yeah. It's a to assert Thomas. Mr. Clooney Drip is powerful. Mm -mm. At least this dream's been okay. Quality wise. Yeah. Our hope was enough to power yeah. us through. My goodness. Wada wada do. I fear a pen. While you're reading these lovely job job answers, don't forget you can pre-order Party Path 9 for Steam and get 10% off now. You can be among the first to ever have it. I declare this interview over. You're all fine candidates, except maybe you. Anyway, only one of you is getting hired. That's my favorite joke, and I'm pretty sure it's in every game I've worked on, except you. I'm not I'm referring to one player that you don't know which one they're talking about. I like that. That's very good. That's my warning that that joke is in Vivage 4, which it is. Congratulations. <laughs> Joe, you did it. We did it, Joe. Win. We did Wins it. again. Welcome Mama to the team. Harris will be calling you soon to congratulate you. Oh, and Lena, you're fired. <sighs> fired, Lena. Um, well done, real Joe Biden. Good job. At least I was in the middle. I wasn't at the end. Brooke, you had a good showing. Yeah, gave it gave it my all today. The old college. Did my show. very best. Beautiful. Well, that well, was this a fun has been stream. Job job. Yeah. yeah. 
Thanks to everyone job for done. tuning in. Mm -hmm. We're both pausing to give each other space to say <laughs> things now. That's all I'll say about it. If you like Job Job, or if you like, no, I'm a fan part. If you like Job Job, or if you like uh, 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 The Wheel of Enormous Proportions, they were both in Party Pack 8. You can pick those up at jackboxgames.com. They might even be on sale on the platform of your choice. Check it out. Um, what do you think, Rick? I think it's time to go have a snack and bid our dear friends adieu. I agree. A oh, snack sounds so good. I'm going to do that. Uh, thanks, everybody, and we will see you next week for Party Club and in a couple of weeks for another Rumor Rank stream, and then before you know it, it'll be October or whatever, maybe not October, but the fall, and we'll be out. <laughs> Party Pack 9 will be out on shelves. But you don't have to wait a second longer uh, to pre-order this brand new pack. Make sure you have it in your library before it comes out. Uh, you know, it's it's a very good pack. Someone asked, like, what our favorite game was. I can't pick yet. They're all very good. Honestly, very strong pack. Can't wait to play it on this stream more in September. Me too. Cool. Well, we will see you guys have, next week. Have a great weekend. And a good day to you all.